Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of decimal division with models. This is standard 5.3F in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 31, which is a new item type called drag and drop, of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so let's look at the drag and drop. They do say that um, each number may be used more than once. Not all numbers will be used. So look, I've got five different blanks here. So I need to fill in all of these, right? And look, I can just fill in one for every single one of these if I wanted to. Now, obviously, if I try to fill in four, it's going to give me a warning. It's going to say you need to answer everything. So there are five blanks here, but this is just a two-point problem. So this is how it works here, right? So if you want full credit, that's two points. You need to get all five blanks here, correct? Uh, partial credit is one point. And that is going to be if you get uh, four correct or three correct. And then no credit, zero points. That's going to be if you just get two correct, one correct, or zero correct. So that's how the scoring works here. Let's take a look at our problem. So Luis and his brothers, two brothers, equally shared some waffles. The model shown represents the number of waffles Luis and his two brothers each received. So this is very important because this is kind of a confusing thing here. Okay, so this is one whole waffle. So I've got one whole waffle there. I've got one whole waffle there. And I've got one whole waffle there. Now, we're trying to create this equation here. Okay, so typically take a look at our equation. It's division okay so what that means is I need a total or a whole however you want to refer to it and then we're just going to use a strip diagram here I can already tell you it's got three check chunks the question is is how much is in each chunk well it's one something but if we take this as uh, that whole thing really it's four fourths right that kind of looks like four fourths. All right, so this looks like it's two fourths. Well, I know that two fourths is half of four fourths, right? Because if I double this up, I'm going to get the other half to get the full thing. So this is really one and a half. Each of these are one and a half. Now, since we're going to go have go ahead and you know put it into decimals. Let's go ahead and just translate that one and a half into decimals, okay? So one half as a decimal. Hopefully we know by now this is a decimal we should recognize and remember. But if not, you can always, uh, you know, either divide up, right? Divide the denominator into the numerator. So one half, right? Divide up. Two goes into one. You can always divide a fraction to find its decimal. It's going to go 0 0.5, right? So really, this is 1.5. Another way to think of it is if you do 1 half, try to make it a, an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 10 hundred thousand. So if I make that 10, look at that, 5 tenths. So either way, these three are 1.5. So... What's the total? 1.5. I can do 1.5 times 3. I'm just going to use repeated addition. 15. Okay, so this is 4.5 divided by 3 gets me 3 chunks of 1.5. All right. Now we just have to put that together correctly. 4.5 or 4 and 5 tenths. Remember, that's the total. Divide it into 3 equal groups. Gets me. 1.5 or 1 and 5 tenths into each group. This is how you get full credit on this problem.